What do you suspect we're going to be looking at this time tomorrow? Our central estimate for the net migration figures is one of about 700,000, which that seems quite likely. Last year, it was, well, the last year's data was uh, 500,000, which is already a record breaker. And as we've gotten further away from the pandemic, and there's been various ways in which the government have kept uh, liberalising immigration rules since then, it's likely to only have uh, increased further to that 700 figure. It could be higher. Some people think that if, if emigration numbers have been lower than um, in the in the past, and it could be approaching a million, but 700,000 is probably the most likely, we think. OK, all right. And are we expecting some nudge on the illegal numbers as well? Yes, there will be. There should be. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's, that's a different day, the irregular migration statistics. Mm. There will be some bits on uh, asylum seekers within the ONS data, but it's fundamentally about overall net migration, which is largely um, the legal element. OK, all right. And of course, it just come on the day that it's been announced that apparently Albania have agreed to take back a couple of hundred known criminals from us, which is nice, actually, uh, Jeremy, isn't it? It's probably the least that they could do. But do you think that this will be the day where public faith crumbles in the face of these pretty heavy duty migration figures? Yes, I, I think it will, actually. Um, I think the government have made a gamble that people only care about people coming into England via small boats. Um, they're absolutely wrong about that. People care about mass immigration in general. They care about the pressures on the housing market, the NHS, the schools, on their changing communities. It all is very important. And I think people feel very betrayed after 13 years of Conservative governments promising to bring down immigration and doing completely the opposite.